students this is remote learning initiative undertaken by shet vidya mandir english high school cbsc myself pritam de silva your sst teacher and today we are going to deal with standard 6 civics chapter 5 panchayati raj part 2 the gram panchayat students the gram panchayat meets regularly and one of its main task is to implement development programs for all villages that come under it the works done by the gram panchayat are approved by the gram sabha in some states gram sabhas form committees like construction and development committees these committees include some members of the gram sabha and some from the gram panchayat who work together to carry out specific task the work of a gram panchayat includes the construction and maintenance of water sources roads drainage school buildings and other common property resources living and collecting local taxes executing government schemes related to generating employment in a village sources of funds for the panchayat collection of taxes on houses market places etc government schemes funds received through various departments of the government through the janpur and zilla panchayats donations for community works etc three levels of panchayat students the panchayati raj system is a process through which people participate in their own government the panchayati raj system is the first tier or level of democratic government it extends to two other levels the janpad panchayat or panchayat samiti and district panchayat or the zilla parishad following are the functions of the zilla parishad it makes developmental plans at a district level with the help of panchayat samitis it also regulates the money distribution among all the gram panchayats students within the guidelines given in the constitution each state in the country has its own laws with regard to panchayats the idea is to provide more and more space for people to participate and raise their voices